Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I'm doing this little video today by viewer request. I've got the heat gun set up over here. I posted a video a couple of days ago blowing up some 357 Magnum rounds in front of the heat gun using uh, how it would react with uh, primer and powder on it. You'll just have to watch that video to understand it. But after that video, I had a couple of you guys want to see me put a 50 cal round in front of the heat gun. So I've got a few 50 cal rounds, so I'll go ahead and do it for you. Now, the little 357 rounds damaged the front of my heat gun. I can imagine I'll likely lose my heat gun with this round, but I paid like nine bucks for that thing two or three years ago at Harbor Freight. Been a pretty good little heat, heat gun. They uh, never did work on the low setting from the minute I got it out of the box, but we've always used it on high anyway. Uh, but this little procedure just might toast it. For those of you guys that worry about my safety, I had several comments in that other video. By the time this round pops, there's gonna be several walls in between me and the brass shrapnel that's gonna come off of this. So no worries there. Let's get this done. Okay, so I heard a large chunk of that, either the brass or the bullet, land over here in the weed field. Uh, got the metal detector out, and I've been looking, but I don't know the exact proximity. I was on the other side of the building when I heard it crash down over here in the weeds. So I'm not one to give up easily, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. We'll just have to try again. Luckily, it didn't harm the heat gun so we've still got heat and I've still got more 50 BMGs so let's try one more.
Okay, so after much searching with the metal detector in about a 10 yard radius here, I did find several pieces. I found about half the case to one of those rounds. Blew it right in half. And I found several pieces of brass. This one was buried about two inches in the dirt. About, where was that? About three feet, it was right there. About three feet from where it detonated. Another piece of brass. I couldn't find the bullets. I searched. I really wanted to find one, but I wasn't able to. Shout out to Harbor Freight for their uh, heat gun. This thing took a took a beating. Blew part of a side out of it, but it still still works. Still works just fine. Anyway, that's all I got, and I'll talk with you guys again soon.